Okay, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Scott Dellinger. First name is Scott, S-C-O-T-T. -T. Last name Dellinger, D-E-L-L-I-N-G-E-R. And I'm the battalion commander for the 1st Battalion, 1st Air Defense Artillery Regiment, All right, or 1180A. All right, so what exactly was the purpose of this joint training? Well, today we're practicing interoperability with the Japan Self-Defense Force partners. Uh, we have teammates from the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force and the Japan Air Self-Defense Force to practice air mobility or moving our aircraft from moving our equipment on aircraft from one place to another. And we're here with our Air Force teammates on Team Kadena. Okay. And how much do you enjoy working with the, uh, with the JSDF? So, I love working with the JSDF. Uh, we have a strong partnership with both the Japan Ground and Air Self-Defense Forces. So we have a really strong relationship with the Japan Ground and Air Self-Defense Force. Uh, we're a Patriot Air Defense Battalion. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force has a Patriot group, equipment just like ours. And the Ground Self-Defense Force has two types of air defense equipment. And the three of us together work hand in hand for the protection of not just Okinawa, but all of Japan. Right. So uh, was this their first time like, doing a joint training like this? So they already have the capability for doing mobility, uh, so they're demonstrating their capability to load their equipment on U.S. Air Force aircraft. At the same time, we're demonstrating our ability to load aircraft with our own equipment. So we're working together to demonstrate what we can both do. Okay. So uh, how beneficial do you say that this training uh, is and will be? Well, what this air load training does is it gives us the flexibility for increased mobility. So with the, with the help of the U.S. Air Force and airlift, we could move air defense assets anywhere that protection is required from a, a missile or an aircraft threat. So 1180A can move our air defense equipment anywhere, as well as the Japan Ground or Air Self-Defense Force could move their air defense equipment anywhere it's needed to protect, the company, to protect Japan. That seems like it'd be really Especially with what's going on now with uh, North Korea and everything. Well, I mean, th this is just an opportunity for us to practice the capability to move our equipment by air. And uh, do you have any questions you want to ask? Um, I, I'm going to ask it, but you can tell Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you say is the. Uh, I know. Yeah, I'll look at you and then I'll answer talking to him. <laughs> The biggest takeaway from this training is that we can both work together. Uh, we both have the ability to accomplish a mission and we can both do it together. So it's that combined interoperability of us demonstrating our ability to move equipment by air and them demonstrating their ability for the Japan Self-Defense Force to move their own equipment by air as well. Because uh, I've done like, quite a few stories actually with uh, like either the Marines, the Army, the uh, Air Force and Sailors working with and they're, like the things that they're capable of, and like everything that they do, it's just it, it's insane how like dedicated they are to working, and how great like all the branches can work with them. Right. The, the, the JSDF are incredible professionals. Uh, we're we're incredibly grateful for any opportunity we get to work with the Japan Air Self Defense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're we're incredibly grateful for any opportunity that we get to work with the Japan Air Self Defense Force or the Japan Air Self Defense Force and getting to bring that training to Kena Air Base to work with the Air Mobility Squadron just makes it even better.